my dear friends, I see so many of us. As soon as an emotion arises, we feel unsafe. We clamp onto something. It's like an instinctual response that as soon as we have an emotion, we automatically associate it with not being safe. And then we run into a host of tactics to try to get rid of the emotion, to try to avoid it, to try to not feel it, to try to manipulate the world around us so we don't have to feel it again. And all these tactics come from fear. All these tactics come from an uninvestigated, an unpaused mind, meaning a mind that's not able to pause, that's not able to stop, to slow down long enough to appreciate the emotional energy for what it is. And what I think you'll find as you begin to slow down your strategies, your conceptualizations, your conclusions, your projections, your thoughts about the world, your thoughts about the emotions, and your thoughts about the people that seemed to trigger the emotions. And when you slow, slow all this down, I bet you, you will already instantly, immediately begin to experience a deeper sense of peace and gratitude and confidence in yourself and stability. You will begin to tap into this infinite resource of well-being that's always available right underneath the surface of your own thoughts. And the way to do this is not to run away from emotions, is not to run into conclusions and strategies. Neither is it to judge other people or to blame other people for your emotions. The only reason why we're so distorted with each other in our civilization today, why we throw and spew out so much hatred to each other, even when we don't think it's hatred, even when we think it's ordinary or it's normal or it's to be expected. This anger, this negativity that we harbor, that we harvest, that we continue, that we perpetuate, that we enhance, it doesn't have to be here. It does not have to be a part of our civilization. It's, con it's constantly undermining our capacity to come together and to deal with the actual logistics of rebalancing the planet and reorganizing our civilization and reprioritizing certain things. So I encourage all of you today because change does truly, cliche as it sounds, begin with all of us right here, right here, right now in the heart. Point that finger to yourself. And it starts with peace. It starts with slowing down to gain more confidence in your ability to be at peace with whatever arises in your emotional makeup. And through that allowance, through that resting with life as it arises, not coming to conclusions about it, just letting it fully be exactly as it is, just allowing it, just witnessing it, just being present to it, not running from it, not avoiding it, but also not indulging it, not scratching that itch of wanting to blame and wanting to find cause to your emotions. The only cause of your emotions is your thinking. It's the way you perceive life. It has nothing to do with others. It has nothing to do with the state of the world. Once you slow down enough, these insights, these keys, these masteries will naturally begin to develop themselves in you. All you have to do, my love, my friend, my fellow journeyer, is to slow down. And instantly, as if magic comes into play, there's a peace that comes over you, a confidence that transcends the personal identity, a sense of connectedness to something that you instinctively remember is so profound that if you were to fully let go into it, it would literally blow your mind. And just to rest with that awareness for a few seconds, or as long as is comfortable for you. 
to allow the emotional energy to relax, to be accepted, to be healed, to be seen for what it is, to be embraced. And then in most cases, the emotional energy will be transmuted automatically into this golden luster of intelligence, into this skillful means to change the situation, change the way you see it, or simply just continue to let it be as it is and allow that transmutation to take you deeper and deeper into sort of a God consciousness, a consciousness of the oneness of all things, the fact that they're really at the substratum of all the manifestation, there's but one beingness. And as one beingness is yourself, it is that, if you will, eternal consciousness that, subs that is the substratum of all perceptions, of all appearances. Rest in that knowledge, slow down, I love you know that you are loved and then begin to love yourself and when we slow down we begin to gain confidence in the fact that emotions are not automatically unsafe and the more you see this directly for yourself firsthand experience is all that matters the more you see this the more confidence you gain and the next time an emotional turbulent storm hits your consciousness, your mind and your body, you'll be able to stand that much more in the peace of that confidence. And the less you run from your emotions, the quicker they're accepted, healed, integrated, and transcendent. Then we can all begin to love each other and interact with each other in a completely different way, much more intelligent, much more loving. I wish this so much for this world. I wish this for you.